Good morning friends. I thought I'd come on today and do my face of the day because it's a beautiful Tuesday morning uh, in August after I think we had a bit of rain last night and it was quite cold but um but it's back to being beautiful and sunny and just gorgeous. Um, I really look forward to coming in here on a Tuesday morning. Um, there's something about the start of my work week that used to used to make me feel, oh, oh, here we go again. And now I actually look forward to it because I do this first. And I've been really slack this morning. So I need, um, after my skincare, and I thought I might do a skincare, um, skincare talk, um, show and tell one day. I, I just don't quite know how to do it because filming, uh, it's just awkward and my bathroom doesn't really have really good lighting um, but anyway I'll see I'll see what happens um, so after my skincare I started with my Alme smart shade primer which is my all-time favorite um, primer um, then I used Alme so, um, Almay Smart Shade Anti-Aging um, Makeup Base, um, and this is in light to medium. Um, I actually find it's 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 really good. It's it's just a light sort of covering, and then over the top of that, I use um, I used my Estee Lauder concealer. Um, I quite like this one. It's one of these that um, you twist at the bottom and has that little little brush. Um, I've had this for quite a long time. So even though it's expensive, it it's lasted heaps and heaps and you don't need much of it. And then to, um, to just flatten that out, I use my... Um, Estee Lauder concealer um, brush so I just dab it um, where I want it. I do find that this is a bit darker than um, the makeup base that I'm using um, but I just use a, I don't have it, um, a beauty blender and just blend it out a little and it, it works fine. Over the top of that I use my Nude by Nature mineral um, foundation and this is in light to medium natural mineral cover this is I do like this but I do want to um, try um, a higher end product um, I sometimes find this is a little cakey on my on my um, skin I find I've got to um, use I usually use a Sigma powder brush and I usually have to go over the top of it. Even though I use this um, this brush, which is the one that goes with it, the nude um, the nude brush, and this gets it on really, really well. Um, I still find it leaves a bit of a cakey uh, surface, so I use my Sigma brush to just take off a bit of the cakiness. Then after that. I use the NARS um, uh, cream blush, um, which I find actually not so bad. Um, and then once I sort of just put it on, I just use my fingers um, or the beauty blender to, to blend it in. Um, I quite like that actually. Oh, I forgot. I use the um, MAC. Um, um, what's this one? This is the medium to dark mineralized skin finish in natural. Um, and I use a, a MAC Kabuki brush um, just as a um, bronzer type thing. I actually don't really own a bronzer, which I must get one day. Um, then, 
I used um, uh, I used an Estee Lauder um, Double Wear Stay in Place Cream Shadow in Pink Pearl. I love this colour. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. And to apply that, I usually find with my fingers I get it all over the place. It really literally um, goes into the corner and down below and I don't know, I just can't really do it. So I use a brush and just dab it on and I use that. Sometimes I just use that if I'm in a hurry. Um, it just gives a bit of colour on my lid. Over the top of that though, this morning... I put um, this Stiller um, eyeshadow in Kitten. I love this. It It is a bit of a, um, that's just the colour. It is a little, um, uh, I don't know, it just, um can't explain it. While I don't really like, um, what's the word not matte but um not glitter um you know what i mean um where it's you know super super shiny um this is sort of in between for me it's probably the the most that i would go um not sure if you can see but it just gives a little bit of a um a little bit of a pop to my eyelids so i use that then in the corner I went to my Estee Lauder, so it's an Estee Lauder day today. I went to my Estee Lauder palette, um, and the one that I used today was, gosh, I hate how they, Provocative Plum, which is this colour here, and that's what it is. And it, it just gave a nice bit of colour just to the le um, just to the crease and, and the edge. Um, then of course and to apply that I just applied it with this um, Real Techniques brush because I just wanted to dab it. Then I used the um, contour brush. Then Oh, blending brush, sorry. Then I used my e.l.f. Um, eye lifter, eyebrow lifter and filler. Um, I only just used the eyebrow lifter, so just a bit of a line underneath. Um, so you can, it just gives a little bit of definition I suppose to my eyebrow and I quite like this but I am on the lookout for another one so if you've got any suggestions please please do a um, eyeliner I used in my little um, my little collection here um, this uh, pencil which is a um, intense Kajal eyeliner and this is in blackened plum and I found it a little oh that's so that's the color I found it a little awkward at first because it, it is so tiny um, but also it was really really pointy and needed just a, a bit of um, a bit of working but but I think I got it to to go on okay in the end um, then I used the Estee Lauder um, Extreme Black uh, Mascara. A lot. See the brush is a lot thicker and um, I only put one coat on because I really thought I was just going to make a mess and they were going to clump and so I didn't really put a second coat on. Then another product that I'm really, really liking is this Physician's Formula um, 
uh, concealer because it has two colors there's a brown or light beige on this this end and there's a yellow on this end I tend to use the yellow under my eyes because of the gray um, the grayness that appears um, under my eyes I find that the yellow tends to cover it a lot better than some of the skin tone ones um, it just seems to and it it blends in and then over the top of that I just use whatever's in here I just use this lightly underneath and it just kind of fills it in so that works really well um, then for my lips I ended with an Estee Lauder um, lip color and this one is number 83 sugar honey and this is their lasting shimmer range um, which is quite nice um, nice and creamy which is what I really like um, and yeah and it does last quite a while um, I'm usually pretty hard on my lipsticks I I, I don't know it they tend to wear off my lips fairly fairly quickly um, I will put lip gloss over the top I just haven't done that yet so, okay thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time um, bye for now